friends, Elance here with a new DIY video and uh, Elance Home Improvement and Design. So today we are going to add some recess light on this shelf, bookshelf that I built in one of my previous video. As you can see, uh, my wife decorated it and you know, we have some picture here and you can see that it's very dark, you can't really see anything here. So to remedy that, I'm going to install some uh, recess light. So here are the recess light uh, that I got from Amazon. I will leave the link in the description below if you are interested in those. So now the goal here will just be to find a way to run the cable for the recess light. So uh, as you can see here, uh, that, that will be a little bit challenging because my my my, uh, my power source will be all the way there to uh, you know the, the, on, on on the TV wall. So I will have to drill hole in this cabinet to run the cable through and go all the way to the top where I will leave all the uh, the charging you know, the, the power cable above the uh, the bookshelf and and now run the uh, the recess light down to have it you know on the center of all of these three shelves. Yeah, so that's what we are going to do here. We just drill a hole here and pass the cable in and take it all the way from the top, do the same from that top level, take it to the top and this bottom level, drill it here and take it all the way to the top where all the connection will be made. All right, friends, so yeah, let's do it. So if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. Please do like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. This is Elon's Home Improvement and Design. All right, let's do it. This is the light that I got from Amazon. So we are going to open it and so you can see what came in this box. So the first thing here that came in the box is the switch. So this is a switch to make all the connection. Uh, it came with six lights. So once you so once you power, you connect this to the power supply, you have the switch here to turn it on and off. And in this in this back, you have the remote control can remove this plastic here and the remote control if you want to control with the remote control you unplug this you connect it here and then you connect the this connector back to the switch so here it comes from the power there it traverses the the uh, LED controller that will be managed by the remote and then all the lights will be connected on this switch so you connect the light through the socket of this switch. So as I connect, you see it's coming on. And I connect this one as well. It's coming on. And I will leave that those two. I can connect three. So those are the three first that I connected. This is the remote control. So I can turn it off. And I can turn it back on very bright so I can lower the uh, the brightness to 25 percent 50 percent and 100 percent those are the three level and also I can put some some uh, some modes so that one mode is going to be blinking if you want attention you can have it blinking and the other mode it's a low speed And then you, you can increase the speed or you can decrease the speed by hitting the minus the minus uh, button here so as I push on the minus toward the controller it decreases the speed I can increase this by pushing the plus and as I, as I push it it's going to it's going to uh, blink even faster all right friends so that's it we are going to run it on the, uh, the bookshelf and install it all right thank you so much for watching and please do like share and subscribe this is Elance Home Improvement and Design. So again, this is our toolbox, and I'm just going to take this, and I'll connect the uh, black wire on this. This is the charger. I'll connect the black wire on this end, and the white wire here, and just tape it and put it on above the, uh, the cabinet, and that will supply all this light. So that's what I will do for that end of the cable that will be uh, sitting on the top of the cabinet. And once that's made, we are going to drill a couple of holes and that will be all. All right, let's do it. We are going to start here by trying to fish the cable. So I'm going to use this cable fishing tool and send it through uh, down here and try to you know, take it all the way to the top. So I'll send it here. And it's going up very smoothly and I 
as you can see we have it all the way to the top now I'm just going to attach a cable on that and pull it back down and have a cable you know sitting so I just run up here and attach this end of the cable to this hook and once it's there I'll just push it push the cable in first the first part all right good I have the most challenging part in and the rest will be able to just slide will be able to come all the way down as I pull it down now I'm down I'll just put it down here So I have my cable down here and I can release this. So this is the cable all the way here. So I will drill a hole here to go to this side, crossover, crossover, go all the way there to the uh, to the location of the power supply. friends so we went through the first two this first and the next one so we we'll just repeat the same the same process again for the uh, for the next two and then we'll pass our cable in So with that we can come back here and we can come back here and run our cable here. So it's going to go in here. We we'll just vacuum that afterwards. So once it goes through there, I open the next door here. And I take it here. On this next door I didn't feel a hole. We we'll just go here behind. So once it goes behind that, then the next one, we'll just come here. I need to pull the cable down. So with that, get this one, pull it here, send it through here, it goes to the next one, and And it's finally in here where we have the power sub the power source so once we have it here we'll make our connection there all right so we get at this level we have the cable all the way in Can just go to the top and make the connections. Take all this to the top. So here I have the power cable and I also have the adapter for the remote control and then I have the switch. I'll put all this here and then I'll take the knife and I'll cut I'll cut off the cable here. That's it, I'm done with that cable. So the next thing here will just be to scrape this cable. So we have just rip off this cable.
So when you, if you happen to do something like this, you know you have to connect all the end first before you to get to before you connect the uh, power source to avoid to having here uh, to be electrocuted. All right. So I cut off the uh, the ground cable as I don't need it, and I'm going to strip off the end of the black wire. Now do the same with the white. Just bend it and create a hook. So with the two hooks that I just created by bend, bending this, I'm just going to attach to to hook it to the to the hole that I have on the bat on the on the charger. And now I'm just lock this in place. And that's good. Now do the same on the other end. Let it go through the hole of the charge of the charger. Then lock it in place so all good it's locked in I'll just take the tape the paper tape and just tape this just tape it to make sure you know they're isolated and then tape the other end So I have these two ends taped and I can just lay it down here and I'm done with that part. The next part here will just be to uh, put the adapter in a position that the remote can come on the light of sight so that the remote can control so I can turn it on and off with the remote. So I just have it here in the corner, it will not be visible from ground level. So I tape it on the wall and then I'm going to connect this end to the uh, charger and that's it so now we just have to run the cable for our light and then plug it plug the, uh, the light cable to the switch and turn it on all right friends so uh, this step i'm just going to remove some of the stuff that i have here on the uh, on the bookshelf So I'll just take this picture, put it down here, one level down. This can stay here. And then I can take the drill and I'll just create a hole somewhere right here. So we have that, and with that, that hole, I will just fish the cable from the top there. So once it's in here, I'll grab that, one of these lights. the one that need to be going up to the ceiling so that's it's a little bit tricky here because this end I need to pull this I need to pull this out there and this end I cannot pull this end down so that's something I need to figure out how to go about this so here at this point, the easy way to go about this will be to uh, will be to cut off this wire. So I'll just cut this off to be able to pull it. So I'll just cut it off and then tape it again so take this 
going to cut this off. Once it's cut off, I can put this part here on the top. And this is the end that I need to pull. I see you got it wrong. that it wrong I actually have to leave this end here and pull this end instead all right so I have this end pulled so this this end here will connect to the switch and this one, I will just make a connection here again with this part. So once it's all stripped off, I could just make I can just make the connection again. And the good thing is that the cable are very much color coded, so I can just join these two again here and do the same with the other one. Once that's done, I can just pull it in here. And it's all pulled there. Once it's pulled there, I can now tape it here. I have the, that cable that I cut off taped and now all I need to do here is to use the uh, the two side adhesive that came with the light so these are the two side adhesive that came with the light I'm just going to get one of these and put it on the back of this light You also have two socket here if you want to attach it with screws you can do that I'll just use this tape and put here and remove the plastic on the other side once I remove the plastic I'll just put it here where I want it to be and pull the cable put the cable there and take the tip and tip the cable on this end to make sure that it doesn't get loose. So once I have that tip right there, I'll just put the rest of the cable here and connect this end to the switch. Et voilà, it's connected to the switch. So I'm going to perform a test before I connect the rest and to do that I'll just screw the other end of that cable that we have down here and put it in the power outlet. Okay friends, so I have this cable that I'm going to use. I'm just going to cut this off and plug it here. So for that I'll just cut off this. Once it's cut off, I'll just open up this. Yeah, but if you don't want to do all this, you can open up the, the power socket there the, 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 and just make the connection straight in there. But I don't want to do that, so uh, I'll just use this cable to connect on it. With a couple of this connector. I'll just make a connection here, this black, black going in this socket and this is white going on this socket and the white will be connected to the, uh, the brown and then 
the blue will be connected with the, uh, the black so you want to be very careful with this and you check everything before you do that so don't follow this all right so i have that plugged in and now it's time to check so now that we have that we are going to go ahead and test our very first light so I will, I will start here with the remote and turn it on with the remote and as you can see it's on so that's it we, we are good there it's on with the remote so I can turn it off I can turn it on again and I can stop the uh, the speed to leave a bright light on and put it at 100% or 50% or 25% so I can add the brightness on it to make it very bright. You can put it just at 100%. All right, friends, so that's it. Everything is working fine. So I will make all the connection and voila. Our friends, here we are, we are done. I'm just going to use this adhesive that came with in the box to to, uh, to seal the hole that I made on the uh, on the bookshelf. So I'll just use this guy and put it right here. And with that, it seals the hole and just repeat the same thing for the rest and voila! C'est dur, j'adore. Thank you so much for watching. This is Elance Home Improvement and Design. And if you have any question about anything, just leave a comment on my project below. And I'll be happy to provide an answer if I can. All right. Psh.